Okay, I wanted to quickly go over what I've done to hook up the uh, opt lasers to my Avid CNC, um, which is a, 90, a 4096 Pro model, but uh, the standard electronics uh, from Avid CNC is what I have. Um, and uh, the, the, the process will be similar in just about any CNC operation that you're going to that you're going to add it to it'll where you'll connect everything will vary um, Based on your control board and that sort of thing, but it's very very simple. So I want to just uh, Show you uh, what 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 we've done. So the first thing I did is I mounted uh, Some of the pieces that we saw before so just to identify what this is. This is the control control module for the laser Power supply going to a standard, uh, what, what that's going to is that's going to the relay, uh, which is on the bottom of my control electronics. Uh, it's just a standard plug, just plugs in. Uh, and the relay is controlled through Mach 4. Um, it'll turn on and on and off. So this is the control board, the power supplied here. This is coming in from the control board, and I'll show you that in a moment. And then this is going out to the laser itself. It runs through my, uh, through my cable chain all the way along over to here and to the mount. And, and I showed you the mount in a previous video. Um, so we're gonna look, just look inside my electronics box down here. I've got a little more room now that I've cleaned things up a little bit. Um, so we're gonna have a peek inside here. So this is the electronics. And what you're looking for uh, with this is you're looking for port three uh, in the ESS, the uh, Ethernet Smooth Stepper. And you can see right in there, I've got two wires connected. Uh, I've got them connected to the correct pins. And uh, we're, we're usually going to recommend um, that you connect them to specific pins. And we'll put that in the instructions. Um, but make sure you count the error. One error that I made is I didn't, I didn't count the pins. So I, I was going to set it up on pin 7 and then the ground to uh, pin 18. Um, but I accidentally plugged it into pin eight and it just so happened that I had the software set up for um, the gate, uh, the laser gate to function on pin eight. Uh, it just so happened. So the, the laser worked, but it wouldn't control the power and I couldn't figure out why. And then I, I came in here and I checked. And of course I plugged it into the wrong pin. I plugged it into pin eight instead of pin seven. Pin 7 has, was designated in Mach 4 as the PWM control, which is the power control. So those pins, where are we? there we go. So those pins are then connected to this, which is uh, uh, just a harness, basically, and then goes out the bottom of the CNC, through the bottom, and then comes out and then goes along to the, um, the laser control box that we just showed you. This box right there, which then um, helps to process the signal for the laser head, which sends it along this wire, like I said, all the way down to the to the mount. And we're gonna go down and take a look at that mount again. So then the that tells the laser what to do. This plugs in, and as you remember from the last video, this is magnetic. So the literally the the laser just simply clips right onto there. Um, so that's the overall connection. Uh, very simple, very, very simple. Um, I mounted this to the frame of my CNC. You don't have to do that. You could have it sitting beside your computer keyboard or whatever you'd like. Uh, just remember that that, that that cable coming out here needs to go along your cable chain to your laser. So you're going to want enough slack that you can have your computer, um, uh, if you're going to mount, if you're going to put that by your computer to turn the laser on and off, uh, you're going to want to make sure that it is, uh, within reach. Um, so that is the hardware connection. Simple. Then we need to connect, uh, we need to set up Mach 4 properly. So we're going to, I'm going to do that in another video. So that'll be the next video.